Hey yo guys, I'm Krigo and this is uh, Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr. Um, I thought I was recording and we had a conversation with her. And then we did see a footage of some um, uh, well, Chaos Space Marines where they were talking about something about the planet that they found and their plans. And I talked about to this guy. And he was talking about Uther's Terror, and I just did uh, Cultural Delete, you know, uh, or Cultural Therefore, get out of the game. And yeah, the conversation is ended, so I didn't listen to it all. So that's kind of weird. Here you can break down your unwanted items from your inventory to gain resources from, uh, from them. The more unique the item is, the more valuable materials you will gain from the... Uh, what? from them to craft new items. Note that salvaging items will uh, lo be lost temporarily. Of a uh, tempor uh, temporarily, damn it. Not temporarily, permanently. Using these quick uh, salvage options, you can salvage all of your items and specific rarity type. From your inventory with one button, that's very nice. Uh, salvageable materials, this shows the predicted chance of materials you can gain by salvaging items. Yes, very clear. And salvage results, here you can see the actual materials harvested by salvaging the item. Resources, here you can find the materials and resources that can be used to craft new items. Very nice. I apologize though. You know, um, I pressed the button accidentally twice, you know, on my Steam Deck. So that's kind of, kind of dumb. <laughs> but it happens, it happens. Crafting basic, here you can craft new items or blueprints you have learned so far. Which is very nice. Uh, blueprint types, artificer and relic items, ancient relic items. Oh, and Arshio tech relics too. You have limited times uh, from... Okay. Hmm, that is very cool though. I do like it. But... Hmm, how do we go to these? Add-on. Hmm. All right. Maybe we have to dis uh, disenchant them too, or anything of that sort, right? You know, modify. We can modify here? Oh, that's kind of cool though, isn't it? Crafting capacity, yes. 10 crafting capacity. The crafting capacity is the most important attribute of an item. When you want to modify after each uh, modification you made on the item, the crafting capacity value will be decreased by one. Okay. If the crafting capacity is depleted, you won't be able to modify the item, but you can still refill it at the enhance uh, tab. Reroll enchantment. Hey, you can reroll the enchantments. Okay. Ah, I see. Hmm. And here we can reroll. Yeah, sure. Let's try it. Damage bonus when there is no enemy. 15 reflect damage. That's pretty nice to have, by the way. Damage bonus for aim, sniper, this and that. Ancients, uh, lock the... Okay, there we go. Tech 3 upgrades. Why god, though? This is deep, right? Hey, you can spend your hard-earned credits to upgrade or unlock new crafting functions and raise uh, the tech power. Tech powers right over there. The tech power increases the chance to successfully salvage crafting materials from items in the salvage tab. You know what? I'm going to read all of this and then we can do something together. All right, so we did unlock this one rather quick, right? Enables uh, the re rolling numeric values of the enchantments. All right, very nice. Over here, enables the re rolling of the numeric values of the base attributes, damage, defense, etc., on items. Adds plus two tech. We can research over here, as you can see, tech power in three and improves the quality of the base attributes by turning the research unavailable 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 everything is unavailable right now which is not bad but that's why we do need these all right i get it i get it oh my the crusader we can get all of these types right seasonal stuff too why not enchantment idea reset blah 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 blah, blah. that is kind of cool so we do know where to get it from uh enhance yes instead of enhance it's uh it wasn't enchant but here you can raise the item level for a limited amount to get higher base values okay that's cool plus five crafting capacity plus one item level hmm okay let's go with this one now it's 27 which is interesting reroll values 20 we could reroll this one 
Ah, it's not a lot though. 14 to 20. We're just experimenting here, right? You know? Yeah, it does not change anything. Uh, Eleven of Reflect Damage, which is very lovely, right? You know, there we are. Reroll. I do like this. Yeah, why not? Now, is it useful to us? We cannot even equip it, but it's minus 36 quality. <clears throat> it's a good experiment, right? You know what we are doing here. Now, I want to get rid of this one. Uh, salvage, there we are. Uh, purple. Yes. And we did get these. Not bad. All right. So that is how it works. Man, it kind of sucks that we uh, did lose out on the, uh, you know, story here for a little bit, though. But not too much, not too much. So it's not the end of the world, I might say, right? Okay, so this is all uh, all about that. So, Iphone Prime is the administrative center of the Tenebra subsector. A busy, venerable high vault built on ancient Sinos ruins. Precise nature? Uh, nature classified, okay. Only accessible to Imperial agents and the Adeptus Mechanicus, who keeps the underground passages closed down. The rest of the Underhive is a hideout of gangs and mutants who are most likely responsible for the ongoing mass disappearances, which baffle even the local Adeptus ar ar uh, Arbiters. I need to look into this matter. I have received a classified pict recording made uh, decades ago by an infiltrator of the Holy Orthodox. Take, uh, taken during a meeting of some high-ranking members of three traders, the of three trader legions, the Black Legion, the Alpha Legion, and the Ward Bearers. These are the uh, you know the leaders that we did see, the Chaos uh, Space Marines. These abominations have clearly been planning a coordinated attack on the subsector for 30 years. And considering that one of the traders referred to an ongoing project on Avern Prime and something they had found in the depths, it is a logical of it is logical to assume the present mass disappearances must be connected to the meeting decades ago. Investigate the mass disappearance. Yes, we definitely will. Offense. We do not have any offense here, sadly, though. That is very sad. Because I would love to have seen this again, though. Ah, uh, maybe, you know... Um, the developers might see this in the future. I don't think so. But if they do, hopefully they do click something, you know, that we can see some past events. That will be very nice. Oh, uh, we actually want to go here, right? But hunt for the Martyr. Get Uta's Terror in the Archeotech Vault. Sure. And over here, we will probably learn quite a lot more about this too, right? Because, hey, let's not forget, I clicked it away just to see it with you guys. But apparently, it's not possible. The Adeptus Mechanicus sect has been eradicated by the Feral Beast. But their secrets are still hidden in the Arceotech vault on Tartaros 4. I'm heading there to find an ancient relic known as Ufer's Tarot. According to the Tech Priest Inquisitor, we res uh, res what? rescued Closer High managed, uh, managed to locate the Martyr with the help of a similar artifact. Interesting. Oh, Nurgle! Yes! It's kind of funny. Tech Priest, this might be a good time to tell me about the reason for this lockdown. You are in an Archaeotech vault. A trove of ancient technology, mostly classified as heretical in nature, or deemed to be dangerous by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Let me guess. Something exploded. Or broke free. Cannot confirm. Still, I suggest extreme caution. Kind of funny that this little uh, helper of ours, right, or little pet, is actually on board quicker than we are. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice, bye bye. Yeah, we better be careful, right? We better be. Oh. Gotta be careful of that laser too, by the way. But it's always fun, you know, to fight against the Nurgles. I don't know why, though, but... It's like we're having a close bond or something, you know? We are hunting them down more often than the other ones. But to be... Be covered in pestilence. Yeah, that's no fun, man. That's no fun. Plague Orger is down. Look at him, though. He was a quick boy. Repent, Repent we say. Oh, well, let's see. What do we have here? Demolition armor? Was it true? Yes, but it's much worse. 
Let's see what we have over here. We do know that we have to go to the left. And there's nothing there. All right, let's go. Man, this crazy sounds right, you know? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it sounds so disgusting. It's like we are really stepping on rotten, fr uh, f you know, flesh. And we are just, just hearing it, you know? Oh my, yeah. This is like a Christmas day right now, right? For a crusader. Nice, let's get rid of that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, look at that, yo. Oh yeah, boys. Very nice, very nice. Hey, you. Stop it. Nasty warlock. Okay, that was fun, man. That was a lot of fun. Alright, do we have a teleporter here? Nope. Oh boy. He was about to charge though, huh? Oh. And of course, the littlest one always stands last, right? So don't always wish that you are bigger and better and this and that. Just wish that you are better at what you do already, you know? Man, you don't want to be the tallest tree after all. gas man just imagine you know losing all control of your body just because of that right now oh we better go back yeah sentry pillar we better go back and follow uh you know what we have to do for now after all we are going way too far oh yeah this walkway is long, though. Don't tell me over here is just as long. <laughs> I mean, I will like it, of course. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, let's get rid of that. It's just as long. Oh, yeah. It definitely is, though. Let's interact with this one, then. Activated. I know, big boy. I know. Don't you worry about me. The beautiful thing, though, about the other class is, is that we could actually, you know, have turrets right now and focus on this, and our turrets will just take care of business. It was really simple, though, back in the days, right? You know? I <laughs> have with the turrets. Oh, yeah. Back in the days, I just mean, you know, like yesterday or whatsoever. What's going on here i cannot even move no okay there we go wow that was dangerous though all right here we are all right first override sequence has been initiated proceed to the second century pillar interesting so we had to do this without us really knowing it huh man gotta walk all the way back huh Warning. Yep. Alarm system activated. No kidding, big boy. I'm almost deaf because of it. We just wait until they are very close towards us, right? And then we are starting to fight. I think it's a little bit smarter, right? So we do not have to wait too long. And we don't have to walk too far to the left and to the right. Okay. Yep. Now it's about time to get rid of them. Okay. Good. Yep. Nice. Look to uh, kill screen of a uh, streak going on. And as you can see, it's almost to the max already. Now they are coming again, but once they arrive at our place, we have already this thing under control. Oh yeah, let's just look at that. There we go. Second override sequence has been initiated. Lockdown terminated. Ah, the turrets are showing up after, of course. Very nice. Okay. Wow. What have you been up to here, tech priest? A 
According to the records, you located Subject 12 Kappa. Subject broke security protocol and annihilated 99.72% of personnel, thus initiating lockdown protocols. You experimented with this? Are you insane? The creation of a daemon host condemns the host soul to eternal torment! Initiating Empathy Modulator. Attempt failed. Wow. He does not care at all. Eternal damnation, huh, for that poor soul. That's so bad, yo. Oh, my lord. All right, let's go. Let's get rid of it all. Down you go, host. Man, what a big boy. Apostle of Nurgle, huh? Better get uh, rid of the big boys here, too. Oh, yeah. Because they just keep spawning enemies, right? You know, even bosses, as you can see. Hoppa. Any bosses, that is. Wow. Oh, this is bad, Joe. This is bad, right? You know? I have found Uther's Terror. Now what? What you have in your possession is a special tool that Uther Tiberius designed for his grand project. Psychoactive cards that can allow communication through visions. Like the Emperor's Tarot. Incorrect. Uther's Tarot is quite different from the Emperor's Tarot, both in symbolism and craftsmanship. But it is indeed a very potent tool. You must talk me through it when I get back to the ship. Indeed, indeed he shall, I hope. Alright, lovely stats. But the thing though is, right, you know, like, uh... Man, we missed out on a little bit of lore. Ah, oh, lore, lore, lore. He will explain it all right, you know. He just told us to get this over here and that's about it. But yeah, you know, it can happen sometimes, right? It should not, but it happens. And in the end, we didn't miss anything, as you can see, right? Tick here we go. I have obtained Uther's Tarot. Now, I want you to tell me how it works. Research is still in progress. Insufficient data. If a deck like this was good enough for Klosterheim, I should be able to use mine to find the Martyr. Correct assumption. Uther's Tarot is a psychoactive set of cards that needs a mental focus to search for echoes in the warp related to the given focus. Wait, if I concentrate on a specific idea, the Tarot will guide me there? Define guide. The cards might show you a vision of the past, the present, or a possible future. More research needed. But the short answer is, yes. I will need you to talk me through this again. Then I'm going to attempt to focus on the martyr. Oh yeah. And this is fun though, let's go there. Uther's terror is showing me a vision of the martyr. I've been expecting a prophetic message, but what I see is a nightmare. The fever dreams of someone on that ship. There are places in this universe where madness reigns. Dominions of evil, where the taint of the other world trickles through. The Martyr is one of these places. And fate has brought me to this haunted ship. The Martyr has been drifting in the warp for millennia. The wandering fortress monastery of Uther Tiberius has become an enigma I need to solve. I have sacrificed everything to find this ship. I've been hunting relentlessly for the Martyr since I pledged myself to this cause. Driven by my sacred oath, I've been roaming the Caligari sector for decades. I kill. I bargain. I made pacts and broke them, only to succeed where others have failed. And I'm still paying the price for my curiosity. I have lost so much. I have lost my mentor. I keep losing my allies. I've been stranded on a derelict filled with the filth of Nurgle and the failed experiments of Uther Tiberius. But I must prevail. Uther believed that the flesh was only a vessel. He thrusted his chosen ones into vile darkness. 
and pray to the God Emperor to turn them into holy weapons. He might have stumbled along the way, and it falls upon me to finish what he had begun. I believe that the Martyr holds the key to our salvation. There is something hidden on this ship that could change the future of the Imperium. I will cleanse this place with holy fire and righteous wrath. I will be transformed by pain and faith. I will find the secret of Uther Tiberius. Okay, that was hella epic though, right? Hunt for the Marty, investigation complete. Following the information I've received from uh, Caius Forn, I set out to find an ar uh, archivist uh, sect of the Adeptus Mechanicus who held, uh, helped Lord Closerheim to locate the Martyr in the first place. My investigation took unexpected turns. I found their research sanctum sect and discovered proof that the feral beast, a gang of Imperium uh, guards, deserters, frequently employed by Closerheim, were ordered by the Lord Inquisitor himself to destroy his former allies for yet unknown reasons. I have eliminated the rebellion, the rebellious gang, rescued Omicron Ark, um, the last survivor of their requisitional expedition, and uh, purged their Archeotech fault to obtain the possibility less copy of Uther's Terror. <clears throat> now I can use these psychoactive cards to find the fortress monastery through the tides of the warp. Rewards? There we go. Claim. Very interesting though, but by that I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay healthy, don't forget to subscribe though. Bye bye.